LOCAL MUSLIM COMMUNITY IS RALLYING BEHIND TWO PARENTS TONIGHT WHOSE KIDS WERE TAKEN AWAY BY CHILD PROTECTIVE SERVICES. ROWENA SHADDOCKS uh, IS LIVE WITH WHY THE FAMILY CLAIMS THEY WERE WRONGLY ACCUSED OF CHILD ABUSE. ROW. Well, Rick, the family does have medical reports that they say will prove their innocence, but the family's attorney says things are only getting worse because the parents recently lost all of their rights to their kids, which means their children can now be adopted. I just want my kids back. That's all I want. Those kids are my life. And that life changed forever for Fakir Fuzal more than a year and a half ago when CPS took away her two daughters, ages two months old and 15 months old at the time. This is my very humble request to the CPS and everybody who involved in this case with us. Please. We just want our kids back. For the father, Chaudhry Sharif, the separation likely hits him a bit harder. Authorities believe he broke his two month old daughter's arm. It was in July of last year when Chaudhry brought his baby to the ER when she wouldn't stop crying. Cops came to investigate and later arrested him for abuse. And we, we did without kids. I know we did not do anything. Why they're doing this with us? The parents say they have followed all the rules. They completed parenting classes required by CPS and have no history of abuse. Still, the courts have ended their visitation rights. CPS didn't return several phone calls for comment. With no previous history. No previous history at all. No criminal record. Nope. This one incident. One incident. They satisfied what they were asked to do. Yes. Meanwhile, the kids are still in foster care. Local Muslims are urging CPS to reunite the family. On the behalf of the Muslim and Pakistani community to resolve this very long, outstanding issue. The family has turned to doctors to conduct an outside investigation. They determined the baby suffered injuries during the birthing process, which involved a vacuum assisted C section. The infant also had a vitamin deficiency, which could have affected the fracture. This entire family will be destroyed because of this incident, and there is nothing whatsoever to justify what's been done here. I don't want to live without my kids. So please, please, just give me back my kids. Now, the father faces a criminal trial in February. If he is convicted of child abuse, he's looking at 10 years in prison along with deportation. All right, a story we'll be following for you, Ro. Thank you. you